Leah Samora is on a marijuana mission. I want to empower women to be cannabis friendly. She intends to do this with her own cannabis shop called Yamba Boutique in Cambridge's Harvard Square. We will hopefully be able to carry curated products, so products that are um, produced by social equity applicants, economic empowerment applicants, people of color, women, the micro businesses, the smaller companies. The store hopes to have cannabis on its shelves in a building once dedicated to keeping the drug off the streets. It was originally built as a police station in 1864. Okay, so that alone says a whole lot for me to be standing here in a place that was formerly a police station and then to be selling cannabis out of it very soon is, you know, it's a, quite a big deal, you know? Kind of brings it full circle. The boutique's moniker, Yamba, is a term for marijuana used in West Africa. A name Samora hopes will increase inclusion in her community, not only for customers, but also for potential business owners. Being a black woman, I feel like we often feel like we don't deserve to be in certain spaces. And this is the one space that we absolutely deserve to be in. And I need women to understand that. The Dorchester native ventured into the cannabis industry on a personal mission. I met my husband when I was 14. I gave him a little note. I said, would you like to go out with me? Yes, no, maybe. And he said yes, and here we are, <laughs> 25 years later. But just a few years into their relationship, there was a big shift. September 11 happened. He was shipped off to Iraq. Um, I think he did two years in Iraq. That actually changed our lives a lot. Samora says her husband Sia returned from his tour of duty with chronic pain and PTSD. I basically had to get to know a whole new person. So when he left, he was one way, and when he came back, he was a completely different person. Samora encouraged him to turn to cannabis to ease the pain. He did, and you saw the relief on his face. The couple eventually started making and selling their own cannabis products, then decided to open up shop and brought in attorney and developer, Sean Hope. We were mission aligned. They really wanted to impact the community. They wanted to change the stigma of cannabis. If I was gonna do it in my hometown and impacting my community, I really wanted to do it on a high level and really put the customers and the people first. The team plans on doing that by creating an intimate and inviting space where people can learn. We're gonna keep all the original brick. You should probably have the registers over here as pre-order, okay. and then these right here as like the walk-in. We always say that we would want a 21-year-old Harvard student and or my mom to be able to come in the space, be educated, figure out what would work for them, and to have a quality experience. And a chance to make history as the first 100% black-owned cannabis business in Greater Boston. I'm a black woman in Harvard Square about to own a cannabis shop. And I think it's important in terms of righting the wrongs of the past. Leah Samora expects Yamba Boutique to open its doors in Harvard Square this fall. Leah's husband, Sia, has also applied for a license to open a cannabis dispensary in Cambridge with Sean Hope. Their store will be called Yamba Market. They plan to sell cannabis products for adult and medical use and will work to help veterans. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. Don't forget to subscribe to Chronicle the Podcast. Have a good evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night.